Global trade has increased exponentially in recent years. With countries around the world looking to boost import and export numbers, the demand for transport has grown too. Ships still remain the most affordable and preferred mode of transporting this trade across the globe. Although a necessity, transporting cargo by sea accounts for about 3% of carbon emissions worldwide. As a result, one organisation has developed a group that brings together the largest carriers and shippers from around the world. The Clean Cargo Working Group is a business-to-business -business collaboration whose sole purpose is to bring environmentally and socially responsible business principles into the ocean cargo transportation industry. Members of the group include more than 25 leading multinational manufacturers, retailers and freight carriers, which collectively move nearly 60% of global container cargo. The motivation for carers to join the clean cargo working groups are multiple. First and foremost, carers, as shippers, are concerned about the environmental impacts from their operations. So that's clear, that's the most important reason. Secondly, carriers like shippers see the need for common standards to a shared problem, that of climate change. So by working together they can figure out what is the right approach to this. The group consists of carriers who own and operate container vessels and shippers, those who transport goods across the world, such as IKEA. The aims have been to understand and measure the carbon footprint of individual shipments and make changes accordingly. The group's practice is based on open discussion and best practice sharing initiatives. The motivation at the end of the day is of course to reduce emissions and we are collaborating between uh, buyers of transportation services and sellers of transportation services. We have been able in the Clean Cargo Group to set a common uh, platform with common requirements, common ways of, of working uh, to reduce different kind of impacts from shipping. So of course it's about the emissions, but it's also about the environmental issues, it's about social issues related to, to shipping. Um, so it's a whole set of requirements that we are addressing and I think that's what also motivates IKEA to be part uh, of the progress. The group's development is facilitated by Business for Social Responsibility. BSR is a non-profit organisation based in San Francisco and over the years has been able to bring together large multinationals that compete with each other in the marketplace to take on a number of issues with remarkable results, helping these companies develop sustainable business strategies. Some of the methods include efficient transparency into what causes the emissions, thus highlighting simple operational opportunities. For example, Maersk Lines has slowed down the speed of ships, which helps to reduce the level of emissions, just as it would if you maintained a steady speed in a car. Other methods include designing common platforms for communicating transportation data. And more complicated ideas encompass improved container software that can save up to 30 kilograms of CO2 for each reefer container per day, roughly reducing the level of emissions by half. The shipping industry was not part of the Kyoto Agreement and um, we're looking for a, you can say, an aggressive target uh, to be set in connection with the uh, climate summit in Copenhagen. Uh, that being said, it's very important for us that uh, whatever agreement that's reached is uh, an agreement that can be implemented globally, that creates a level playing field, so to speak, for, for everyone. We've gotten a lot of input that we've used in terms of our own internal strategies and um, that has been very, very helpful, not least in terms of benchmarking ourselves against uh, our peers and, and competition. So um, it, it has allowed us to set some, uh, some fairly aggressive targets. We're looking at reducing our emissions by 20% over the next uh, seven years. And uh, that's a indirect outcome of our work uh, through the Clean Cargo Working Group. The commitment of the members of the Clean Cargo Group extends to the setting of greenhouse gas emission reduction targets and enhancing energy efficiency through innovation and operational improvements. These include measuring greenhouse gas emissions, third-party verification and communicating results. What is then important for the future is of course that we together with the carriers are delivering now on these criteria that we have set, set up so that we really show in action that we are reducing emissions and that we are improving in other dimensions related to environment and, and social issues. The group will also continue to work with governments and industry to develop regulations and incentives that will further reduce greenhouse gas emissions and stimulate investments in low-carbon technology. 
The industry as a whole, through membership in the group, is taking ownership and welcoming change. The Clean Cargo Working Group hopes to continue work with the industry, developing common environmental platforms that will further enable reductions in greenhouse gas emissions and stimulate investments in low-carbon approaches, making the whole sector more sustainable.